Hi everyone, continuing on with my previous theme of rendering Blender renders on Google Colab, I'm answering another question I've received a few times, and that's how to enable third-party add-ons when rendering on Google Colab. For this example, I've decided to use the LuxCore renderer to render a caustic scene on Google Colab. Many of you may be aware that Cycle's render engine in Blender struggles to render realistic caustic effects because it's a unidirectional path tracer and takes a long time to converge in these situations. Whereas render engines, such as LuxCore Render, use bidirectional sampling to trace light paths between the camera and a light source, and also the light source to the camera, resulting in a much more rapid convergence of the scene. I've been meaning to try LuxCore Render for quite a while now, so I decided to try it out for this tutorial. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the LuxCore Renderer as my example add-on that I want to install on Blender on Google Colab. So to do that, I've gone to the LuxCore Render website and I've gone to the download page. And if I scroll down, they have the Blender LuxCore add-on for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So since I'm setting up my scene on a Windows operating system, I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit version of LuxCore but you'll also need to download the Linux 64-bit version to run on Google Colab because that's running an instance of Linux. As you can see here, it's saying supported Blender versions are 2.82 to 2.92 and it won't work on anything higher than 2.92. So download both of these and then let's load them up in Blender. I've just loaded up an instance of Blender version 2.92 here. And I'm sure most of you will be aware that to enable an add-on, you go to Edit, Preferences, Go to the add-ons page, click the install button, and here you can see I've downloaded the LuxCore renderer zip files to the desktop. So you don't want to unzip these files, you just want to select, in my case, I'm going to be selecting the Windows 64 version, and you go install add-on. So once that's finished, go up here to your search box and type in LuxCore, and you can see we've got LuxCore installed, but not enabled, so click the enable button. And here you've got some basic settings. You can select to use your CUDA device, which I'm going to do here. And it's automatically selected my GeForce GTX 1060 CUDA enabled graphics card. And that's all you need to do there. To set up this scene, I've just downloaded one of the example files from the LuxCore website. If you go back to the LuxCore website and go to documentation, example scenes, I've just downloaded this oil puddle example here. So I've just loaded up the oil puddle example in my Blender scene, and let's just render it and see what that looks like. So you can see with the LuxCore render, you can get these really nice thin film effects here. It kind of looks like oil floating on a water puddle, but it's also capable of making really cool caustic effects, which you may not have seen before. Anyway, so I just want to render this example scene on Google Colab. We're going to have to use some scripting. So go over to the scripting tab, create a new script, and as always, we'll start with import BPY, which is import the Blender Python library. So the purpose of this script is basically to uh, enable the uh, LuxCore render add-on using the command line interface only, or using the Python scripting language. So we're gonna need the commands to install and enable the LuxCore render add-on using the Python script. So let's find out what the commands for that are. So to do that, you want to go Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Now, you may not be using the LuxCore add-on. You can use this for any add-on that you want to install. So I'm just going to go to LuxCore to start with. OK, so first of all, we're going to have to install the LuxCore render add-on on Google Colab. So first of all, what's the command for that? If you hover your mouse cursor over Install, you'll see it gives you the Python command for it. So it's bpy.ops.preferences.addon underscore install and uh, parentheses. So you can just right click and go copy Python command, come back to your Python editor and paste. But we're gonna have to put an optional argument in here. So let's just right click here and go paste. And I'm just gonna backspace. Now, if you press tab, it gives you the instructions for what the optional arguments are. So you can put overwritten true, target equals default, but it's the file path which we're interested in. So for my example, 
it's going to be bpy.ops for operations dot preferences dot add on install open bracket overwrite equals true comma and the file path is going to be the file path that I'm going to specify for my Google Colab instance. So let's just go over to Google Drive for a second. So on my Google Drive here, you can see I've created a folder called blender underscore locks core for my example. I've uploaded my oil puddle dot blend file that I want to render, the example file. I've uploaded the blender lux core add-on, the Linux version. You do need to upload the Linux version of this, not the Windows or Mac, because we are running Linux on Google Colab. So even if you have prepared your Lux Core scene on a Windows machine, you do need to run it on the Linux version on Google Colab. So in this case, if we go back to my Blender instance, you can see I've specified the file path as slash G drive slash my drive, which will be the root Google Drive directory when I mount it on Google Colab instance. You can see then I've specified blender underscore luxcore, which is the folder here. So my drive blender luxcore. And finally, I've got a forward slash and I've specified the name of the add-on, the zip file. So that's blender luxcore version 2.5 linux 64.zip. And make sure you use single inverted commas for this and then close bracket. So this is the command that will be run on the Google Colab instance to tell Blender that we want to install the LuxCore render add-on. So the next step is once we've installed it in the Blender instance, we're going to have to enable it. So let's see how to do that. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Now we've got the LuxCore render add-on again. So we want to find out what the command is to enable this add-on. So you can see here with my mouse cursor over the little tick, it says bpy.ops.preferences dot add on disabled if I just disable it for now and hover it's saying add on enable and the module name for the lux core render is called blender lux core or blend lux core so that's going to be important so we need to remember that to write that in the code but obviously your module name is going to be different if you're using a different add-on so just do it exactly the same way so let's for example let's look up node wrangler and let's see what the module name for that is. In this case, it's called node underscore wrangler. So you just have to repeat this for your specific add-on. But I'm just going to do this for the Lux core. So let's type that in again. So let's copy this command in. So now we've got Blender Python library, operations, preferences, add-on enable, and we want to enable the Blender Lux core add-on once we've installed it. And this final bit of code here that I've added just saves these preferences. Once we've installed the add-on, we've enabled the add-on, every time we want run Blender on Google Colab, we want to use these same add-ons and not have to install them again. So this command will save these as defaults for our instance of Blender on Google Colab. So once you've finished writing this code for your specific add-on that you want to put on Google Colab, you go text, save as, Save it to your desktop somewhere. For my specific example, I just called the script add-on underscore enable, and I've uploaded it to my Google Drive here. You can see I've spelled it add-on underscore enable. And that's in the same folder as my Blender LuxCore directory with my example Blender file, the LuxCore render add-on for Linux, and here's my enabling script. So let's just go over to an instance of Google Colab now. So if you've already watched my previous tutorials on using Blender on Google Colab, this will look very familiar to you. The first step is just to mount your Google Drive with these commands here, which I've already done. Next step is to download a specific version of Blender. Since LuxCore Render is only supported on Blender up to version 2.92, I'm just downloading Blender version 2.9 here for Linux. So I'm going to click that and install, uh, download it, and that will take just a few seconds. Okay, so Blender's finished downloading. Let's just unzip the Blender file. You can see it's downloaded the Blender zip file here, and now we're just unzipping it to this folder here. And Blender has now been unzipped to this folder here. I'm gonna set the file path for my .blend file, which is the oilpuddle.blend. So I'm just gonna uncomment this line and recomment this line. So this first step is about 
installing and enabling the add-on. So I'm just going to run version Blender 2.92. I'm going to run it in background with no audio. And I'm going to enable the and install the add-on using this Python script called add-on enable. So this isn't going to render anything in this first instance. It's just going to install and enable the add-on for future use. So I'm just going to run that. OK, so you can see it's installed the Blender LuxCore add-on from the zip file. And you see Blender LuxCore render has been registered. And then it quit Blender once it's installed. So now we can just comment out this line and uncomment this line here. So in this case, we're actually going to be rendering the Blender scene now using the LuxCore renderer. So we're running Blender version 2.92 in the background with no audio. We're going to be rendering the Blender scene specified by file name, which is here, which is our oil puddle. And then we're going to be outputting the render from that scene to a file called luxcore.png. And I'm just rendering the first frame as a PNG. So let's run this now. So you can see it's opened up the oilpuddle.blend file successfully. It's updating the device list for LuxCore Renderer. And this can take just a few minutes. OK, so let's have a look what it's doing now. So it's just bringing up some specific details about the Blender scene. You can see it's unpacked some textures. You can see it has selected a Tesla T4 uh, NVIDIA graphics card as our device. You can see now it's compiling the kernels, and that can take a few minutes, so be patient. If you need to make edits to the script while it's running, you can click the little folder icon, go to G Drive, My Drive. I'm going to select my Blender LuxCore folder, and you can see the add-on enable script is here. You can double click it, and you can make edits to that script here in the text editor. So this is my script that's been run on Google Colab here. OK, now you can see Google Colab has started rendering out my scene. You can see it's using the GPU here. It's rendered 12 out of 250 samples from my scene. You can see it's using the LuxCore renderer here. OK, and you can see it's finished rendering that single frame now. And it's saved out the PNG to G Drive, My Drive, LuxCore.png. So if I go to my Google Drive, so it's actually saved as the root directory, but you can see here luxcore.png. And if I open it up, there you go, you can see the oil puddle render. So the key steps in this tutorial were, number one, download the add-ons for Linux and your local computer's operating system. Number two, finding out the module name that Blender uses to enable that add-on. Step three, was adding these file paths and the module names to the Python script. Step four was uploading the Blender scene, the Linux version of the add-on, and the add-on enable script to Google Drive. And the final step was running the Colab Jupyter Notebook, running Blender once to enable the add-on using the script, and then once that module has been installed, running Blender a second time to render the scene. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it useful for other Blender add-ons as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you found it useful. Until next time, take care.